everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about five surprising facts about your mouth that you probably didn't know. Did you know that unlike the bones in your body, which can heal over time, you know, you break a bone and it gets better, your teeth cannot do the same. So that's our number one mouth fact today. Tooth decay is permanent. It cannot be reversed. This is because tooth enamel, the protective outer layer of your teeth, doesn't have living cells to repair itself. Bones do, but enamel doesn't. Once enamel is damaged, you can't grow it back. That's why they have to drill out the tooth decay and fill it back up with filling material. Please note there is a difference between enamel remineralization and enamel regrowth. Growth. Remineralization can help strengthen and protect your teeth from further damage, but it doesn't restore lost enamel. I have a video that explains more about the differences between remineralizing and regrowing, which of course I'll link below if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, let's move on to number two. Gum health is the gateway to your overall health. Now, if you've been following along with me in my videos here, you might have already heard about this one. I tend to mention it wherever I can. So your gums are more than just part of your mouth. They're key to your whole body's health. Research shows that when your gums are healthy, they can help protect your body from infections and inflammation. But when they're not healthy, your overall health can be at risk. Gum disease has been linked to conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and even strokes. That's why it's so important to gently clean along your gum line and between your teeth daily to prevent plaque buildup and keep your gums in top shape. Number three, your saliva is a natural defense against cavities. I'm always a little bit hesitant to use the word natural because I don't want anyone to get it twisted. That natural natural is better or natural is the only thing needed. Obviously, you still need to brush and floss. Having good, healthy saliva doesn't replace the need for home care. But all my disclaimers aside, saliva is like a natural mouthwash. It helps to wash away food particles, neutralize acids, and even begins the process of breaking down food for digestion. Plus, it has proteins and minerals that protect your teeth and can aid in the remineralization process. Back to that remineralization word again. So overall, keeping your mouth hydrated is key. Always remember to drink plenty of water throughout the day. And if you suspect you have dry mouth or you're lacking saliva, talk with your dental provider ASAP because saliva is very important. Dry mouth is not good for your health. Number four, speaking of health, your mouth can actually warn you about nutrient deficiencies. I learned all about this in dental hygiene school. In some cases, your mouth can give you clues about what might be going on or what you might be missing from your diet. For example, if you notice that your gums are sore or your tongue looks swollen or pale, it could be a sign that you're low on certain vitamins like B12 or iron. Changes in your mouth's appearance can be an early sign that you need more of a certain nutrient. So if you notice anything unusual, it's always a good idea to bring it up to your dentist or doctor at your next visit. And lastly, number five, your jaw is one of the strongest joints in your body. Did you know that your jaw can exert up to 200 pounds of pressure while chewing? Wild, right? The temporomandibular joint, aka the TMJ, is incredibly strong, allowing us to chew through tough foods like nuts and raw veggies, but with great power comes great responsibility. Be sure not to put too much stress on your jaw by avoiding habits like grinding your teeth or chewing on ice, as they can lead to jaw pain or even damage. And if you're grinding or clenching at night, it's happening subconsciously. You can't control it since you're asleep. So if you grind at night until you can find the root cause and stop yourself from doing it, it's always recommended to wear a night guard to protect your teeth while you sleep. And that's it. I hope this video was fun. If you thought it was, please like, subscribe, subscribe and comment your favorite toothy fact below. Which ones did you know and which ones didn't you know? And if you want even more Teeth Talk, of course, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.